Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video and today, 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 we are here with, as you can see by the poster above me, we are in the PCL D League, which is a brand new league which I am taking part in. It is a mandatory upload league, so it's going to be, so every single other coach in a division will be linked in the description down below. And... As of right now, the only coach I have known for a while is my fellow Double D Dreadful Dragonite. So, it'll be very interesting to uh, see which one of us does the best in this league. Because, if you guys didn't know what PCLD League is, it is a 3DS Wi-Fi battle league. Um, PCL's got a main league. This is like the... It's basically like PETA, where PETA's got Kanto. And this is the Johto, this is the Johto equivalent. So, hopefully... Um, we can pull out a few some of these this season because if you guys are new around here I am not the best battler in the world I'm like average you know what I mean uh, most leagues I finished the season like six and six or seven and five or something around that sort of mark so hopefully this is the this is this is the time because the pressure is on because I think I'm not nine, I'm 99 percent sure that if I win this league, I can be up into the big player with the big boys up there in PCL normally, who are like top YouTubers and whatnot. Then so it'll help me it'll help me grow as a YouTuber if I get into that PCL league, which would be absolutely amazing because. I've been in the race with Dr. Slacking and Dreadful Dragonite for these subscribers for the longest of times, probably like a month or so now, and I'm still last, and I really, really want to catch up, because I, I hit 100 subscribers about, what, November? It's now March, and I've gained 16. It's, it's, it's been a slow trog, but hopefully we'll get there one day, we'll get there one day. we just got to find that hidden gem video, and hopefully this league is it. So... Uh, PCL D League, the draft was, when was the draft? About a week ago, I want to say, something like that. And uh, I look at the tier list and we we were, so before the draft order was announced, I looked at, I looked and see what, right, what mon do I want to build my team around? And I saw, hang on a minute, the Alga is right there. The Alga is right there. And I'm thinking, right, the Alga, I've, I've, the Alga's a monster, I want to use it. So, me and Checkmate Ben, who I've known for around seven, eight years now, uh, got, in, got to know each other because of Pokemon, so he's, a, he's, a, he's also a good like team builder and whatnot, so I went to him right, Ben, this league is allowing Dialga. I want Dialga. Let's build a team around it. He said, okay, champion. Cool. But it's going to be very lucky you're not going to get Dialga unless you get a good spot in the draft. So, draft order gets announced and I'm seventh place. Pretty much the worst position ever in the draft. It's slap bang in the middle. And I got 7th place. And that's just like... Okay, cool. Yeah, hope maybe I get the Alga, possibly. Round 1 pick goes. The Alga. And I'm like... Oh, right. Okay. I want to build this team around, like, a powerful, powerful steel type. So, next next foot right. Mega Metagross is right there. Let's pick up that instead. It's okay. We'll play around with the team. Mega Metagross, it's fine. We'll deal with that. Gets to the pick before me. The sixth round pick by Dreadful Dragonite is Mega Metagross. I'm thinking... <sighs> I'm so annoyed because I really wanted to use Mega Metagross or Dialga. But no, I had to settle with Aegislash. I had to settle with an Aegislash. I was like, I wanted an S-tier Power Steel type. That's all I wanted. Because that's what the premise of the... Initial plan was to build, to build around that, but Mega Man Gross was cast away, Diag was cast away, so Aegis Flash is the option. Now, I haven't used Aegis Flash before, but I have used the Blade before. I know they're not they're pretty much completely opposites, but I'm looking forward to using Excalibur because, I've, as again, I've never used Excalibur ever in League, so I'm looking forward to it. So it's obviously bog standard um, King Shield shenanigans. It's got one. It's got Stance Change, I think. Yeah, it does. So at 150, it's got 150 defenses in defense form. Can I check? Um, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's a uh, age slash blade form, which is 150, 150. Okay, so it's pretty much 
It's got this. It's yeah. So it's kind of like I want to. Could I've used mini ore before, and it's kind of got the same. It's not the same, but it's got the same premises ability-wise because um, it changes form and gets different stats. So if I go for King Shield, I'll go in defense form. If I go, if I go for a Flash Cad or a Sacred Sword or something, I'll go into the attack form. Now. Uh, it's always got flash cannon. It could be run either way, depending on what matchup would be best for me in that situation. Uh, its speed is not the greatest in 60, but I literally just checked, want to check what its actual speed was in in uh, attack form. But just click complain. But it's got 60 in this form. I'm, I'm sure it gets high speed. If it doesn't, you can shout me in the comment section down below. But I do think it does, and it also gets likes of likes of wide guard, sunny day, spike. Shockwave, Rain Dance. If you can see by if you see by the poster, you can probably see why Rain Dance could be an option. It'd be a stupid option to run on Age Flash, but you never know. Who would expect it? Who would expect Rain Dance Age Flash? Who would do it? Who would do that? You get Magnet Rise as well, which could be coming clutch. Once you've got hidden powers, you've got likes of Swords Dance, Toxic, Shadow Sneak, Shadow Ball, Shadow Claw, Sacred Sword, uh, Rock Slide. It gets Screams, I do believe. It gets Night Slash. It's durable, it's Destiny Bond and whatnot, so or, or Totemize, so really looking forward to using Excalibur. And this was my first round pick. Now, went around and I'm like, right, okay. What would really help Excalibur right now? Grassy terrain, because then earthquakes aren't gonna do as much damage to um Escabalier. Escabalier? Excalibur, A Flash. So our next pick was Tapu Rob Rob, our Tapu Bulu. Shout out to uh the uh, the uh, the uh, Gen Seven free for alls on the channel, where Mr. Rob, Mr. VGC himself, Rob, brought a Tapu Rob Rob and stalled out for ages with Leak Seed Protect Substitute Tapu Tapu Rob Rob. So, so yeah, if I've never used a Tapu Rob, I think I've used. Have I used Tapu Rob Rob before? I I think I have, but not in League. I do think I think I've used like normally on something in like regular showdown or whatnot, but. Yeah, Tapu Rob Rob is here with Grassy Surge on switching Pokemon Summons Grassy Terrain. And Grassy Terrain, if you didn't know, uh, heals any monster that's grounded, so Age Flash will get healed. Pretty much most of our team will get healed, barring uh, two? Yes, two of our mons. Um, I, does it boost Grass type moves? I think it does that as well. So that will help with the, like, the Horn Leech or Wood Hammer. We rock out with Tapu Rob Rob. And it also resists, I think, any ground type moves. So I think it's Earthquake. I think, it, is it just Earthquake? Or was like uh, or was it all ground type moves? I think it's specific ground type moves, but I can't remember which ones exactly. I know Earthquake is for sure, for sure is resisted. So I think I think it's Earthquake magnitude, possibly Earth power as well. But if you go, if they've got like Dig or Mud Bomb or something, that would be like I don't think that's effective. So so even though scenario Escalop would be able to do that. So they've got the two synergies right there. So obviously Tapu Rob Rob. Loves a bit of bulk up uh, energy. Uh, obviously, it's physical because it's got 130 physical and 85 special attack. The only downside to Tapu Rob Rob is it doesn't get a uh, physical fairy type move. So, we've got a uh, kind of steel fairy core, but we don't have um, fairy type stab. Unless we're rocking uh, Dazzling Gleam with our. 85 special attack, but it could be like we're up against the Mon, which is very weak to Fairy, and it's very frail. We can go Dazzling Gleam, bop, you're gone. Excellent. So hopefully that could come in clutch, but we could run a Calm Mind. We could run a special Tapu Rob Rob, because it gets Dazzling Gleam, it gets Energy Ball, it gets Giga Drain, it gets Snarl. Snarl could come in clutch, possibly, I don't know, but it's mainly going to be run physical, probably Leap Seed. Uh, it gets Mega Horn, it gets Nature's Madness, which is a good move. I like using that because when I had Tapu Fini, when I've used Tapu Fini before, I used to run Sapu, uh, Nature's Madness because it's the best way. Because, so, instead of, uh, oh, what's he going to ground to? What's he going to ground to? We want to do the best of my damage. You go Nature's Madness and guarantee 50% on any Mon because no Mon is immune to Fairy. So, that's absolutely amazing. Uh, obviously, you can get Protect, Seed Bomb, Rock Slide, Stone Edge, Substitute, Super Power, Swords Dance, it could be on Zen Headbutt. Uh, gets Jewel Chop, did not know it got Jewel Chop. It can run Grassy Terrain, 5 turns Grounded, 
plus grass type move, plus 160. Max HP, so, left, so double left over. So a lot of recovery on this boy. Uh, you get Smart Strike as well. So, yeah, Tapu Rob Rob is going to really help the team, especially um, as you can see by the poster. We've got some very interesting sets to come down the line. But next up, we have Tornadus Furion, our Katrina, Hurricane Katrina, our Regenerated Tornadus Furion. Now, um, Tornadus Furion, I do believe I did use way back when in the Pokemon World Cup, where I had a rain team. So, you can probably, probably have a guess of what kind of team I'm building right now. So, I mean, Pokemon World Cup, I like joining the rain team, but obviously I was in the stack group, so it was very hard for me to actually qualify from that group. I think I got one and two. I was one win, two losses in the World Cup, if I do remember. But that was like, that was like a year ago. The World Cup was a year ago. I'm sorry, I can't remember, but anyway, back on to Katrina. Uh, obviously it gets regenerated, which is absolutely amazing because we can U-turn I think, I do believe it gets U-turn. Does it get U-turn? It does get U-turn. So we can U-turn S, uh, regenerate, which will be absolutely amazing. And because we're running a rain team, uh, uh, Hurricanes won't miss. Can't miss in rain. So uh, that'll be nice. It gets Hyper Beam, it gets Sludge Wave, it gets Psychic, it gets Incinerate, it gets Dark Pulse, Grass Knot, Focus Blast, Extra Sensory. It gets a, quite a... Quite a lot of uh, good coverage for uh, on the special side. Obviously, gets defog as well. If we've got because this stuff, uh, defog we've drafted. Also gets rain dance itself. So that's also not. Actually, gets tailwind as well because tailwind could come in clutch, um, especially late game and we don't have rain anymore. We can tailwind and still outspeed with uh, our mon. So it's also an option as well. We get taunt as well and toxic. So Katrina is going to be a very uh, useful mon in this team, very much so, and I'm expecting it to help us pick up a few of these and come away with a few Ws this season. Next up, we've got Barbed Wire, our Theraphorn, rocking Iron Barbs, obviously with quite, basically a bulky core, because um, this powered up with uh, uh, Grassy Terrain um, is going to be very uh, difficult to kill. And if Rain's up, unless you've got a fighting type, my boy, <laughs> it's not going to appreciate it. And we've, we've, fought, we've only been weak to fighting. We've got a ghost type and a flying type right there. So this is going to be disgusting if Rain and Grassy Terrain is up. So that's going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, also, bog standard uh, barbed wire set. You can get, uh, obviously, you get stealth rocks. It gets t spikes. It gets uh, toxic. It gets thunder wave. It gets leech seed. It gets, and obviously attacking wise it usually runs durable or um, power whip so could run shelf destruct if you only wanted to or shadow claw potentially poison jab knock off it usually runs knock off durable or power whip more than likely and then either leech seed toxic spikes stealth rocks or whatever depending on what we need so ferrothorn is going to be mainly our hazard setter slash wall so I'm looking forward to using Ferrothorn. Uh, I don't think I've used it before, but I have used Ferrothorn before in LTC. I have it in LTC. I barely brought it because I've got Gigalith, which is just, just does a better job in LTC, in my opinion. But, but you know, Ferrothorn just outshines Gigalith every day of the week. So, uh, Barbed Wire is here. Hopefully, it can help us be our defensive option because we've got uh, Excalibur, which can be defensive. We've got Tapu Rob Rob, who can be defensive as well defensive it could be it's basically tapu rob rob basically a bulky physical attacker uh you can be can be bulky can be special attacking you're just pretty much our def can be our defensive wall so hopefully barbed wire can do that for the team now confirmation of the rain team is here we've got blue swells our polytoad with uh warp absorb because we're gonna bring warp no we're not gonna be drizzle we're gonna be drizzle because we've got uh a lot of options for drizzle on this team uh and in my opinion, I prefer Politoed over Pelipper in a rain team because Politoed is not quad weak to electric. It is more bulkier. It can be run special bulk because it's got nine, it's got it can be run like assault vest special bulk, which would be absolutely amazing. Uh, also can be run Perish Song and Haze. Haze is a good option because if you like if they're set up, we can just go Haze and get rid of all your set, which would be amazing. Uh, it gets Earthquake, it gets Encore, it gets Scold, it gets Hydro Pump, Ice Beam. Perisong's a tech as well, so 
to prevent, so if he's potentially, oh, but he's going to sweep with this thing, he's set up, let's go for Parasol, so he can't stay in and set up, because he'd have to switch out, otherwise he's going to die, so that's always a good option, obviously we've got Protect, Psychic, Scold, Seismic Toss, we've got Substitute, we've got Toxic, we've got, we can do Belly Drum Set if we really want to, be that guy, it gets Blizzard, it gets Bounce, it gets uh, Curse, it gets Dive, it gets Dig, it gets Giga Impact, it gets Helping Hand, it gets Hidden Power, it gets Icy Wind, it gets Mud Bomb, it gets Psy Wave, it gets Rain Dance, it gets Splash, it gets uh, Water Pulse, it gets Water Gun, it gets Water Sports, and it gets Whirlpool. So we can do Whirlpool Perishong Tactic if we really wanted to. But, you know, Blue Swells is here, our main rain setter. Obviously, uh, as we saw further on down, Escalibur and K Katrina can also both get Rain Dance, so... There's, there's options there if we want to drink double water, double rain. Um, I have brought... What did I bring? I brought Sunny Day Weezing before, so... You know, Escalibur, Rain Dance, Escalibur... I'm going to keep saying that. It's it's Escalibur. I keep trying to say Escavalier. It's not an Escavalier. It's an Aegis Flash called Escalibur. I'm so... One day I'll get that right. One day I'll say that goddamn right. But yeah... Blue Swells is here, and it's going to be coming clutch. Now, um, this is our next mon we drafted in Cabalion. Uh, and also our Z user. Is it our Z user? It is our Z user. This and our next mon is our Z user. So we've got Excalibur, our Cabalion. No, we haven't. We've got Man of War. Why do I keep saying Excalibur? I don't know why. Anyway, Man of War, the Cabalion's here. Justified. Uh... It's going to be our, pretty much, it can be our defensive option. It can be run physical or special, which is a good option. It's got 108 speed, so it's not terrible. It can be on Calm Mindset. It can be on Flash Cannon, Close Combat, Focus Blast, Iron Head, Poison Jab, Lone Cone Claws, Rock Polish, Sacred Sword, Stealth Rock. So it's another Stealth Rock option if we need it. It gets Superpower. It gets Swords Dance. It gets Volt Switch. It gets X's. It gets Zen Headbutt. It gets Flying Type Moves. It gets a lot of different coverage moves. It gets Magnet Rise, it gets Metal Claw, it gets Psych Up, it gets Sandstorm. Doesn't get Rain Dance, unfortunately, but we, it's, it's got a lot of options because it can run physical and special. It's got a lot of options in both categories. It can, it's our Z user, so we can use any move we want on it. So, Man of War is a good option for our Z Captain, in my opinion, personally, because it gets the play. It's because of its large move pool. But, anywho... In rain as well, it's not weak to fire, which is absolutely amazing. It's, I think it's what, weak to psychic, fighting, and ground. And, with, and ground is out of the way with Tapu Rob Rob. So it's only weak to psychic and psychic flying and uh, fighting, I do believe. We've got Excalibur for the psychic types. We've got um, flying types. We don't really have an option yet, but we do have further down the line. And uh, fighting type, we've got Katrina, and Tapu Rob Rob, and Escalibur. So there's options. We've got options. So Man of War, hopefully, can help us pick up a few of these this season. And hope, maybe, just maybe, I'm going to win a trophy. I've yet to win a league, so maybe this will be the time. Maybe this will be the time. Who knows? Who knows? But next up, we have our next mon, where we have Gonzalez Aludicola. <claps> Gonzalez Aludicola was Swift Swim, obviously. So, it's not the... In UCC, if you guys don't know what UCC is, it is probably the longest running league I've been in, because I've been in it since Season 1. And as of recording, we're in Season 12 right now. So, that league's been going for like four years right now. I've been in it since Day 1. And... The overall MP3 ever since we first started, I think Ludicolo is second only to Marshallow. It's second only to Marshallow in this league. So, I'm just saying, Ludicolo and Rain is a freaking monster. It really is. In the right hand. So, hopefully, these hands are the right hands for Ludicolo. And I don't butcher its name, but... With Swift Swim, it gets the likes of, it gets obviously Skull, it gets Water, Grass, and Ice coverage, so that really helps it a lot. That's good coverage for most types. It should be able to hit it even neutral or super effective for all those types. Uh, but also it gets, like, can potentially run Knock Off, it can run 
Zen Headbutt. It can be run physical. It can be run physical because it's only 70 less. So there's potential. There's potential. And this is also another Z user. So we can Z Hydro Vortex. We can Z Bloom Doom. We can Z Sub Zero Slammer. There's options. We can Z uh, All Out Pummeling with uh, Focus Blast. So there's options. We can get Home Claws as well. I don't know why. Home Claws. It gets Leech Seed as well. It gets Scold. It gets Surf. It gets Swords Dance. It gets Synthesis. I don't know why we'd run Synthesis if we're running a rain team, because I think Synthesis only heals 25% rain, so probably won't be running that. It gets double, I oh, can't use double team, it's not Peter. Uh, it gets Hail, it gets Hidden Powers, obviously, it gets m Rain Dance, so that's our fourth Mon that gets Rain Dance. Excalibur, Katrina, Blue Swells, obviously, and Gonzalez, so we've got four, water, we've got four Rain Dance users on the team. So, can potentially come in clutch, we've got Solar Beam as well, so we can Z Solar Beam. Something. He's going down to his water type going. Oh! He's going to go out. He, this man's got a water ground type. Let's go out into it predicting it's gold. Oh no! He's going to go for Z Zola Beam and blow me back. So, there's options there. We can also be cheeky and go Sunny Day. We probably will never click Sunny Day. If I do bring Sunny Day, I'll. I'll eat my words. If, we, if, we have, if I bring Sunny Day, I'll eat my words. I'll eat my words. But you never know. This is League. These sets can be absolutely as mad as possible. But they could always work. You never know. Next up, we've got our boy Frankenstein, our Silvalli, who we can make any type we want. And it was mainly drafted to be our Defogger because it's probably the best Defogger we've had so far. Because barring uh, Katrina, I don't think any of our other ones got Defog or has removal. So... Our so, so, so Val is pretty much going to be our bulky defogger, depending on what um, mons we bring. Because if we bring our, a defensive option, this Savali can be our special defensive option. If we need a special, if we're bringing a special defensive Politoed, we can bring a defensive Silvalli, and so on and so on and so forth. And we can pick the typing depending on what would be best on the matchup. So that's what I like about Savali. It's got lots of versatility. So I've used Silvalli before. I've not. I've, I've, when I've, when I've drafted Silvalli, I tend to bring it like most of the time because it's got, it's pretty much the best, not the best defog in the game, but I tend to bring it mainly for defog bulk with, with a switch initiative in likes of, um, what's the, parting shot, parting shot shen shenanigans is great. It gets likes air slash, Draco, Dragon Claw, Fire Fang, Flash Cannon, Ice Beam, Iron Head, Outrage, Pursuit, Shadow. Ball, rock Slide, Signal Beam, Surf, Thunderbolt, Tailwind, Try Attack, U Turn, X's, and Zen Head. But it gets a lot of. It's got a lot of coverage moves, not gonna lie. I was tempted to make this our Z Captain, but because of the Z Captain rules, it had to be Tier 1 or Tier 5, or Tier 2, Tier 4, or 3 3. And if we wanted Sil Valley to be our Z Captain, I think we had to make. Um. I can't remember what mon it was. What mon was it? I wanted, I, in an idea, I wanted, I wanted Cabalion and Frankenstein, but we couldn't do that. We could only pick one of them. So, and I, I much prefer it on Cabalion because it, I don't know, because Frankenstein's got higher attack and special attack, but if we run the Z Crystal, I don't think Arceus system works like that. Pokemon is a Savali, it's type changed to match its held memory. Yeah, so I don't think it changes typing. If it does, that's my bad, but I don't know. I don't know, but So Valley's here is mainly gonna probably be mainly brought to Does it get does it get rain dance? That's the question. It does get rain dance, so that's our fifth option on the team with rain dance. So we've got rain dance options all across the board. We can run a special defensive um or physically defensive Ars Arceus. So Valley with a uh, damp rock, rain dance, defog, easy money, no whammies. So, and it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not the best rain user, rain setter, but it's an option, which is what I'm all, that's all I'm happy about. It's an option, we can use it. I'm happy. So, so Valley was our next pick. Now, next up, we went to the mega. I think the options me and Shake My Ben were talking about with a. Uh, Mega Amphros or Mega Cavarupt. So we could. The, so the, the options were Mega Amphros and drafting Kabutops 
or drafting Mega Camera up and drafting Kingdra. Now, um, well, I'm thinking about it and saying, Ben, we're running a rain team. Why on earth would we run Mega Camera ups? We just said, we that, that way we don't, I don't know. I can't remember what his reasoning was, but Mega Camera ups could potentially put in work against the team. If we, if we could have run, I don't know, it, un, it not in rain, he could overprotect for rain and go, oh, Mega Camera ups here, just go, ugh. Earthquake, Fire Blast and whatnot, so I don't know, but I was leaning towards of the Mega Ampharos Skellyfish. As long as, as good as Kingdra was, I wasn't prepared to draft a Mega Camera up to the rain team. So I said Ben, okay. He said, these are two options. I said, right, I prefer Mega Ampharos and Skellyfish, because A, I've used Mega Ampharos before, and B, um, I've used Mega Ampharos before, so it's always good. Now, uh, because we're in a rain team, and Mega Ampharos has 165 special attack, um, can be physically bulky, can be specially bulky. So, um, we can be bulky, we can um, have the option to land Thunders in rain, not missing, and kill lives. It will kill lives. It will kill lives with Thunder from 165 special attack. Unless you're bulky or ground type, what are you doing to me? What are you doing to live that hit? What are you doing? And we've got Mold Break as well. So if you've got a Lightning Rod or Motor Drive or whatever, nah, don't care. Do not care. We're here. We are here. So, uh, yeah, it gets obviously Dragon Pulse for Stab. It gets Cotton Guard. So I've seen Cotton Guard set before. It gets uh, Outrage. It gets Screens. It gets Seismic Tastic and Signal Beam. It gets Volt Switch. It gets Charge Beam. It gets... Um, Agility, that's the set as well. We can run Agility so we can outspeed at plus two, because I think at max speed we go to what? Um, max speed we go to 207, which means we'll go to 414, which I do believe is quite fast. It's quite fast, not gonna lie. So in a, if we get Agility up, we can outspeed most Mons, and if the rain still up, we can Thunder for days. That'd be absolutely amazing. Um, I don't think we've got Trick Room options on the team. I don't think so. If we did have Trick Room, that could have been Clutch as well because the likes of. Um, well, to be fair, why do you run Trick Room if we're running Swift Swim once? We could run. Yeah, so yeah, Ebb Ramp is here. Now, next up is our only Tier 5 because we went budget picks all around so we can. Uh, but. but um, words. We draft the Mega Amphro so we get more points so we could draft the Tier 4 instead of. Two tier fives or whatever, but our tier five was a uh, wet. Our Vivian Tundra. Now that is an old channel reference. When we played Civ Five way back when, like two years ago. Was it two years ago? I think it might be. No, it's a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago when we played Civ Five. I was just surrounded by wet Tundra. Now wet Tundra is back. Wet Tundra, the Vivian with Shield Dust. What just uh, compound eyes really? Compound eyes, so compound eyes means that we cannot miss our axes higher, and we've got the likes of uh, sleep powder. I could be coming clutch as well. We've got hurricane as well, so we've got two hurricane abusers in a rain team. We're not missing a hurricane with Vivian. We're not. We are not missing a hurricane. We've got Giga Drain. It gets screens. It gets Quiver Dance. It gets Roost and whatnot. We can rerun Tailwind as well. So. We've got Tailwind options, we've got Quiver Dance options, we've got Sleep options, we've got a lot of options with, with uh, Vivion. So hopefully, um, it can put in the work. It also gets Rain Dance. More Monster Rain Dance. Half our team line Rain Dance. I think in Skellyfish does as well. So that means 7 out of 11 Mons learn Rain Dance on this team. So I'm saying, they're probably not the best Rain Dancers, but we have options to spam Rain Dance on any of these Mons, so we should be okay. Huzzah! And Z Rain Dance doesn't. I think Z Rain Dance definitely gives you plus one speed, does it not? So, uh. If we run Z Rain Dance on Cabalion and get plus one speed, that could be useful. Or we run it on Nudicolo, which would probably be a better option. But. Who knows, who knows, who knows? It gets Solar Beam as well, so. We can probably run over Solar Beam if we really wanted to. We get Giga Drain, so why would you do that? Uh. So yeah, Vivion is going to be here. I don't see it being bringing to every single game, but 
it's an option for on the bench, so we go, right, okay. Right, this week we need a we need a Vivion. We need Vivion. Huh! If he's got a good bulky grass type, Vivion! 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 If if it's a bulky grass type that can destroy a, a Katrina, wet can just come. And just rain on your parade. Puns! Right. <laughs> God damn it. Right. Last mon on the team. Our last pick was Skellyfish. Our Kabutops. Rocking, also rocking Swift Swim. Uh, it was between this and... What was the other option? There was another Tier 4 Rain Abuser, but I can't remember which one it was. Oh, my... I can't remember which one it was. Was it Seismitoad? No. There was, another, there was another option down there, but we wanted... I wanted more hazard removal, because right now, all we have is... Uh, Frankenstein, pretty much. I know Vivion gets it, but we're quadwick to rock, so why would we bring it on Vivion? And Katrina, which, once again, we went to rock, so why would you bring that? But Kabutops does get rapid speed. Oh my god. Oh my god, why am I. You're, anyway, yeah, so, uh. Kabutops get rapid soon, so that's A, another hazard removal. A, it's another, uh. Rain abuser, so. That coming clutch. So we get Aqua Jet, which uh, Ludica doesn't. So that's priority Swift Swim Rain Boosted Aqua Jet, which will come in clutch. Uh, just in case he brings a mon which outspeeds us, we get Liquidation, Knock Off, uh, Night Slash, Rock Slide, Rock Polish, Seismic Toss, Stone Edge, Superpower, Waterfall, X Scissor, Aerial Ace, uh, Dive, Fury Cutter, Giga Impact, Mega Kick. Uh, rock Tomb, Roll Out, Skull Bash, Slash, Ring Out. So yeah, so we've got a, so we've got two options. We've got a physical Swift Swim user, and we've got a special Swift Swim user. So depending on which one would work best on that given week, we can bring that one and go, Ha ha, Swift Swim, you are very physically bulky team. Let's bring Ludicolo. Oh, you are, you are a specially bulky team. Let's bring Kabutops. And... Vice versa, you don't know which one we're gonna bring. Do we bring both? Do we bring one? Which one will we bring? Who knows? You have to find out. You have to get into this head, this weird head, this weird head. You need to get into this weird head to work out which one I'm going to bring. But anyway, that is our team for the PCL D League. Now, uh, I think if I remember correctly, which I should do because it's written on my handy dandy spreadsheet, that every single Friday will be a PCL D League game. Um, because that's the that's the day we have to upload them. Um, so, I think, barring when I'm back at home in uh, week three, I think, or week, I think week three and week four I'm at home. So that may be an issue trying to record those videos live. But barring that, most of them should be um, live recorded. So I'm looking forward to that. Get to record. Last time I recorded, I showed a proper competitive game on the 3DS was way back when when I did a few battle spots but that was like freaking ages ago so I'll be hoped to uh, see that again to try that out again because it's not like Showdown where I can go let me click this button oh wait no hang on a minute he's overthinking let me unclick and just go I have to actually use my brain properly this time because I can't go oh click unclick click unclick click unclick click unclick so I'm hoping that doesn't screw me over and I forget we're on 3DS and not on Showdown, so maybe in the first game I'll need, I'll get myself into it really. So if you guys are hyped and would like to show your support for the DD Stittos in the P Pokemon PCL D League, make sure you smash the like button down below, be subscribed if you're new around here and enjoying the content, and leave any comments about your opinions on the team and potential sets I could potentially bring, if any weird sets I should bring, you should let me know down in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios!